Electrical interference can be a common problem in electrophysiological recordings. The example here shows a local field potential recording in channel 1, which is contaminated with a 50 Hz mains frequency signal. Mains hum is often complex, and is usually composed of odd harmonics of the mains frequency. This makes it very difficult to remove or suppress by simple use of high pass or notch filters. If we create a power spectrum from the raw data, we can clearly see the 50 Hz component as well as the odd harmonics. This data was recorded in Europe, where mains frequency is 50 Hz. In many other countries, including the US, mains frequency is set to 60 Hz. In the example shown here, we have used an offline script, Hum Remove Express, that creates an average of the mains interference, and then subtracts this from the original signal. The results of this method are shown in channel 2, with the subtracted signal display for reference in channel V1. The script will remove either 50 Hz or 60 Hz mains frequency components. The average of the main signal needs to be based on an event channel that marks each cycle of the mains frequency during recording. This event channel can be recorded from a CED mains pulser unit connected to a digital input on your 1401. The script Hum Remove Express can be found in your Spike 7 scripts folder. Run the script from the script menu, load and run option. You will be given the option of adding the script to your script bar for quick access. The script creates a toolbar from which you can open a new file for processing. Once a data file has been selected, the Setup button in the toolbar is enabled. This opens a dialog from which you can select the channels and options for removing mains hum. Here we set the hum cycle marker to use, and the channel or channels to process, as well as a time range. If the hum contamination in your recording remains constant for the duration of time you want to process, you can set the epoch setting to 1. This will calculate a single mean hum reference signal per channel and subtract it from every cycle based on the hum marker events. However, if the hum level varies, as is far more likely, you should divide the data into epochs and generate independent reference signals for each segment of data. The minimum allowed duration for an epoch is 2 seconds, which will generate an average of 100 hum cycles at 50 Hz. The maximize option sets the maximum number of epochs available based on the minimum duration and the selected time range, up to a maximum value of 400. When using multiple epochs, there is the potential to introduce a step change in the reference average and waveform between epochs. Selecting the Track Changes option avoids this by subtracting a reference signal that is a weighted average of the reference of the current epoch with that of the next or previous epoch. The DC Remove option removes baseline offset and slow drift from the processed channels. In this type of data, the low frequency oscillations are of interest, so we will leave the DC Remove option unchecked. If your recording contains bursts of activity alongside quieter periods, you can use the Exclude High Physiological Activity option to base the reference noise measurements on the quiet periods only. The drawback with this method is that the reference signal could be based on very few quiet cycles, or, in extreme cases, none at all. The script warns you if any epochs have a reference signal lower than the ideal number of sweeps during processing. Once you click OK in the Setup dialog, the rest of the toolbar is enabled. The Process Next button will process the chosen channel or the next channel in the list. Process All will process all selected channels in sequence.
Processing can take a significant amount of time depending on file size and the time range selected. When processing multiple channels, the script will pause between channels to give the option of continuing or cancelling the process. The cleaned up version of the data is then displayed in a new channel. You can show the hum signal that has been removed from the data by clicking the rejected hum button. The rejected hum, processed data and raw data can all be selected, hidden and shown using the toolbar buttons. We can select both the raw and clean version of the data by holding control and clicking on the channel numbers. And compare the power spectrum from both channels. Here we can see that the script has removed the 50 Hz component as well as the odd harmonics of the main signal from the processed data. The toggle groups option overdraws the processed and raw data for visual comparison. The plus and minus buttons can be used to increase or decrease the offset between the overdrawn channels. I hope that you've found this video tutorial helpful. Full details of the script can be found in the Hum Remove Express PDF file in your Spike 7 scripts folder. A companion script, Hum Remove, can be used to attempt to remove mains hum from data recorded without a hum marker event channel. Full details of this script can be found in the Hum Remove PDF in your Spike 7 scripts folder.